On Saturday, a group of professional swimmers will be making their way relay style across Lake Muskoka, starting here at the dock next to Boston Pizza in Gravenhurst and making their way to Hannah Park Beach in Port Carling. Organizer Ricky Jacobs says he's excited to be back at it for this swim that comes with an important fundraising cause. Our first time being back here since 2019 because, of course, COVID took us back uh, down to Caledon the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. This started because my father needed a kidney back in 2016. He had unfortunately since passed away um, from something totally different. But it was our attempt to, as a family to raise awareness around organ donation, which for us is a critical uh, kind of a silent killer in Ontario. There's 1,600 people waiting for kidneys and for all kinds of different uh, organs. And it's, uh, it's heart-wrenching for many people. It's five or seven years wait time. As this is our attempt to try and bring a little bit of awareness to that cause in a beautiful place like Muskoka. We've cottaged up here for many, many years and it has a dear, very dear place for our family. And, uh, and so it's our way of honoring my father and uh, bringing awareness to the bigger issue of, of organ donation. Tell me about the swim. It's a big one, obviously. Uh, your process and everything, how, how does it all work? Yeah, so it's a relay swim. It's intentional uh, as a symbolic gesture around. It's not just the donor and recipient. It's about the family, friends, and the network that support that whole uh, experience. And so for us, relay swimming at the lake was really important. So we have five swimmers. Uh, two of them are actually transplant recipients themselves have represented Canada in the World Transplant Games with world record times. One of them uh, actually swam across Lake Ontario for the first time for any transplant recipient to do that last summer. And so what we do is we relay swim in 30 minute intervals uh, from, Port, from Gravenhurst here to up to Port Carling, 30 kilometers from here. And uh, we make a day of it and we just have a, an amazing time. Hopefully the weather's just like this. And uh, we get lots of um, people coming up to us donating on, on behalf of, uh, we're partnering with Camp Kivita. And so we raised money for them to uh, send kids who have organ challenges to a summer camp experience. And today we've raised over $70,000 since we've been doing the swim. If you're wondering how you can be involved, Jacobs says there's a few ways. We'd love for people to, one, find us in the lake. So we'll be posting on uh, facebook.com forward slash organ donor swim or, on, or just find us on Instagram. Um, and what we'll be doing is uh, sharing where we are throughout the course of the day. And we'd love for people to come up, love for people to donate. Um, so you can do that through the kidney.ca forward slash organ donor swim. Uh, and then the other thing we love to do is, listen, uh, organ donation is critical. And uh, in Ontario, we love to, to um, have people speak to their local MP around opt-out uh, legislation, which has happened in, in Nova Scotia. In the last two years, they've seen a 40% increase in tissue donation and a 25% increase in organ donation since they put the legislation in place. And Ontario is perfectly set up to have that in place. And we'd love for that to become a huge outcome as part of this effort.